What's going on, y'all? It's your boy G back at it again with another episode of the G Files, man. And it's finally, finally over. The last episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars just dropped not too long ago. And I gotta say, like, they know how to they know how to end the series, bruh. Like this this last season is probably like one of the best last seasons I've had like watched in the show. All the stuff that they're doing with like Disney Plus and um just like the recent Star Wars content as far as not including, you know, the rise of Skywalker and like, you can feel how you feel about the movies, but TV shows, them shows hit different, you know what I'm saying? And it really cemented to me, one of my favorite, like who my favorite character is in Star Wars, period. I wanna talk a little bit about that, but I also wanna talk a little bit about why um, I think that the future like of Star Wars, like besides these last three movies, is so, so like bright. You know what I'm saying? And, and while I'm gonna be talking about this for a little bit, uh, I decided to go back and, and I got inspired to, you know, take, take a trip back, you know what I'm saying? Cause we already beat uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You know, they got a new continuation of the story. You can keep all your cosmetics and stuff and, and go forward. So that's what y'all watching right now. That's why, you know, my man Cal got the Inquisitor suit on with the red lightsaber. Um, and, you know, we, we rocking out with that. But what I wanted to talk about basically is why I feel like Darth Maul is like the most, like is the best character in Star Wars. And, and for those that I know some of them haven't watched the Clone Wars and might have thought, you know what I'm saying, that, um, or even watch the new Rebels show. I haven't even watched that yet, but I know he's in that. At least just watching the Clone Wars know that, you know, Darth Maul didn't die in the first movie. So if that spoils you, I'm sorry, but yeah, that yeah, he's still here, you know what I'm saying? And um, his journey of his whole like life story, I'm not gonna get into it here, but y'all should definitely look it up. And his character development throughout the series is my favorite aspect of the series. Not so much because the triumphs and things that he was able to actually accomplish was wasn't in in the grand scheme of things like it's not a lot, but it was just like you felt him. Like you know what I'm saying? He still was a, a major factor more than a lot of a lot of characters could say for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I just really like the way that they piece this story together. Um, so if y'all haven't watched Clone Wars, I, I, I suggest you go do that. Um, not the movie, but the TV show, you know what I'm saying? Because the TV show does it justice. And for it to be animated, they can really show you what, like, the true potential of what a Jedi should be able to do and can't do, you know? And, and they really go into depth about each part of, like, cause it shows you the whole universe. Because you can only get so much from the movies, you know what I'm saying? Until you, like, unless you read the books and stuff as well, like, you get a, a, a bigger and better... Uh, understanding of the Star Wars universe in general and, and the universe is why I like it so much because there's so many things going on at once um, and it's all overall about the like factor of the force needs to be balanced you know what I'm saying so I'm not gonna spoil anything in the actual trailer or show was that that's something going on outside I don't know but um, so I'm gonna finish this up real quick but just I just wanted to say like and give my little take that you know Darth Maul is the best character in Star Wars I could be Anakin I could be Luke I don't care but Darth Darth Maul is my favorite and I just want to say that put that out there and hopefully we get a game or a movie or a, a series of just his story um other than like what's in the comics and stuff because I think it's really cool uh and I hope that new Star Wars game is going to be dope I think it's called or it's, it's either a game or the movie it's called the Old Republic um but I, I hope the next Star Wars game is just as good as, as the one y'all watching right now so if y'all want to see me play play this um let me know in the comment section i might do another playthrough of it on my twitch channel on grandmaster so if y'all want to see that put that in the in the, in the description below we're gonna get down the docket but that's gonna do it for me in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it. if y'all did and i don't know why i keep forgetting to say this but you know john you need to subscribe bro why have you subscribed yet you know what i'm saying so john i need you to subscribe and like because it's free and it'll help me out a lot you know what i'm saying if you haven't already do that split that's all i got that's all i got so um, that's gonna do it for me, you guys. All jokes aside, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'll just keep growing, keep going, be your boy G. I'm gone. Peace.